Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you something really awesome. And as you can tell by the clips on the video, we now have an official hoverboard on session. And it's not just any hoverboard, it's actually the hoverboard from Back to the Future. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen that movie, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you already have. And props to Keldon for making this board. He done a really good work on this. He actually went through the process of making the hoverboard model and putting the graphics on there and everything. So this is the real deal. This isn't just some graphic slap on type mod. This is the real deal. Now you'll be able to download this in the discord right after you watch this video. You can just go to the discord and download this. And I'm going to have like a clip at the end of the video showing a tutorial on how to install it. It's really easy guys. And uh, if that doesn't help you out, he's also going to uh, post an advanced tutorial to the discord just in case you're having problems with the clips that I'm using. And a big thank you to Keldon for allowing me to be one of the first people to try this out and make a video on it. Now he said since I was the one that suggested this idea that I should be able to make a video on it. So here we are. And I was just expecting, you know, a graphic and maybe a grip tape slap on, but he went above and beyond and just made the whole model. Now I just want to show off the detail that he put on this board. So let's do a heel flip. And then we'll go back to free camera so we can really take a look at this. And as you can tell, the board looks heavily used. It's really scuffed up and dirty. I think that looks a lot better than if it looked brand new. I think it adds a lot of character to it. And it has the Mattel logo on there too. And then on the bottom of it, it's the same way, the scuffed, dirty look. And even some of the graphic is missing. That is really nice. But if you notice one thing, and it's one thing that I really like, look at those hover pads. The hover pads actually come out of the board. And also that middle section comes out of the board too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is really awesome. It's better than just having like a graphic slapped on. It actually comes out of the board. So this is the real deal. Now let's do some skateboarding. I want to do some different grinds and stuff. Show you guys, you know, what it looks like because it really doesn't look that weird when you do grinds. I thought maybe it would, but it really doesn't. First, I bet some of you are curious about what reverts and power slides look like. So let's try to do a revert real quick. And that's... That's what they look like. They just look like a revert, but you're now floating. And let's try to do a power slide. And there's your power slide, but that wasn't a good one. Okay, let's get a little bit more speed. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but let's try a power slide. And yeah, he stops really quick. And I really like how just regular tricks look, like that tray flip or you know that nollie flip. They look like regular skateboard tricks, but something about the hoverboard style just really looks nice. Now you would think the flat nose would throw it off, but I think it looks good. And now let's do like a hard flip and see how the board looks the other way. And yeah, let's pop with that. And yeah, so the back foot still looks like it's floating, but that's just how, that's just how the character is. You can't really control that, but I still think it looks good. All right, let's straighten this board back up with the Vero heel and there we go. Let's go find some stuff to grind. I think I want to go towards the Brooklyn Banks. And I think I want to use this rail just to do a couple different grinds. I bet, I bet you're curious about what like crooks and blunts look like. So yeah, let's try that. Let's start off with a nose slide though. Of course, we got to start off with the slides just to see what it looks like. Hopefully I can get it first try. And <laughs> I don't think that would have been an actual nose slide, but yeah. Okay, let's try it again with an actual nose slide. And yeah, I think that was more along the lines of a nose slide. So now let's try to do a back tail and see what that looks like. Okay, looks nice to me. And how about a nose blunt? That looks good too. <laughs> what about a regular blunt? Let's just keep it going. And <laughs> that was a little sketchy, but I think it's just how I landed. So yeah, let's look at all three of those tricks back to back. And I think that blunt could probably look a lot better, but it's sort of hard to aim with the trucks missing. That's just how it is. Now let's try to do a lip. Lips look really nice. Okay, how about a board? Boards look really nice too. And I got the guns, backside board slide. Historical challenge. Okay, so now I wanna find a ledge to do my other grinds on, like my crooks and over crooks and stuff. And I think this would be a good one to do it on. I think we're going to start off with a nose grind 
and it actually made the sliding sound. That's that's really cool. Okay, now let's try to do a crook. Okay, crook looks good too. Now an over crook. Hopefully, ah, uh, that sucks. I thought maybe I could get it all back to back. And I think that would have been an over crook. I do believe so. It's, like I said, it's hard to tell with the trucks missing. But yeah, let's look at all those tricks back to back just for anybody who's curious. Okay, so let's go hit up another spot for the Feeble, the Smith, and the 5 -0. I guess I can use this rail. Why not? This was like my first hurricane rail. So this is what I want to use. I want to use it for my Feeble and my Smith. Let's try to get a Feeble. I think that would have been a Feeble. <laughs> let's try that again just to make sure. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a Feeble. Okay, how about... Uh, a smith if I can line that up right and I'm terrible at doing smiths but there's the smith okay now let's try to get a 5-0 hopefully sorta but still look nice and uh, a salad let's do a salad and that is a salad even though I landed really sketchy And this looks like a good spot to try manuals on. So let's do this and get a nose manual with a nollie heel out. There you go. Pretty simple. And let's do the regular manual. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. And with a tray flip out. And I want to see how it looks whenever I do like a power slide to banana slide. And I feel like that looked pretty nice. And I'm just going to do a slow-mo of this so you guys can actually see it. I think this is a good enough angle. And that looks really awesome. <laughs> I got to say, that looks really awesome. So I know a lot of people are probably just going to use this board one time just to see what it looks like and feels like and everything. You know, it's a novelty item, so it is what it is. But... I'm probably going to do more than one video with this hoverboard. So let me know in the comments below if you have any hoverboard specific trick requests that you want me to do because I definitely want to play with this board some more. I want to try to do the Nolly Hill 270 to switch back tail or, you know, no slide. And that was really nice. I got that on lock. It's such a nice looking trick. I do it all the time. Now, the only reason I call that a switchback tail is because Street League has a video of that same trick without the heel flip, and they word it as a switchback tail. So that's why I'm calling it that. So before I do the tutorial, I really just want to skate a DeLorean. It seems right that we would skate a DeLorean because now we have a hoverboard from Back to the Future. And we have a DeLorean right here. Now, this is Keldon's Low Life Parking Garage. I did a video on this map earlier this week where I was just skating through. So if you guys are interested, check that out. But yeah. Let's skate this DeLorean. I think I'll set up a kicker and I don't know, maybe just a tray flip over it. Something simple. I just want to skate the DeLorean. You know what? Instead of the kicker, we're just going to use the launch ramp. I feel like I'll have better luck with that. And wow, can't believe I didn't clear that. I clipped. Technically, you can't clip with a hoverboard, but you guys understand what I mean. So there you go. Okay, so when you download the zip file, it's going to look something like this. This one's called BTTF Hoverboard, Back to the Future Hoverboard. What you want to do is right click and I'm just going to do extract all. Your methods may be different, but you'll want to extract this. And then when it's done extracting, you'll have a folder like this. It'll be called the same thing, I guess. It depends on where you put it at. We'll open that up. We'll go to customization and the skateboards folder is what you really want to pay attention to. And now you want to go into your session files if your game is unpacked or whatever. This is the way I'm doing it. You probably use Map Switcher to do all this too, but this is the way I'm doing it. So go to your session version that you're playing, go into the files, go to session game, go to content, go to customization right there, and you'll see the skateboards folder. So here's what you want to do just in case you make any mistakes. 
right click the skateboards folder that's in the session game files go to copy make sure they're all copied and you're going to want to find a safe spot for that just in case anything happens so go outside of the session game files and create a new folder somewhere else i'm going to create a new one right here i'm just going to call it i don't know current uh skateboard customization files yeah i'm just going to be very specific with that you don't have to name it that or whatever open that up and then paste what you have copied from your session game skateboards folder and if you open this up you'll see you have everything that you need for whatever reason just in case anything happens and remember this has to be outside of the session game files and you're going to want to put this someplace safe because you are going to need them later for when you want to uninstall the hoverboard and we'll get in that in just a second so the next thing you want to do is right click the skateboards folder that you're going to be getting from the Keldon zip file with the hoverboard so we'll copy that and then we can come over here into the session games folder the same the same place where the skateboards folder is and we're just going to right click and we're going to go to paste and once you do this it'll ask you if you want to replace the files in the destination you're going to click yes and it'll overwrite all the files but you'll also keep the old files as well but like i said you're going to have to use that other folder that you stored in a safe place for when you want to uninstall this so once you're done with that, after you've pasted the files and overwrote the files, what you want to do is go to your apartment, return to your apartment, then go to customization. And what you'll notice is for the skateboard, depend on how your settings are, you might have some trucks like this. All you have to do is go to that and the trucks are gone. And you can use that as a hoverboard if you want to. But now you want to go to deck graphics and find where you have the hoverboard and there you go it's as simple as that which is this one is the toxic eyes heroin skateboard so there you go and then you select it and now you can go skate with it and it should work fine and yeah there you go works just like that now i'm going to take you through the uninstallation process so to uninstall this what you want to do is go back to your safe place that you put your backup files mine is right here and you want to right click the skateboards folder and go to copy and then the actual session game files which is session game content customization you want to find the skateboards folder delete it and it's gone and then click paste and wait for it to get done pasting and this should be all your backup files so you won't have the hoverboard now and everything should be back to normal but let's load up the game just to make sure and so as you can see everything's back to normal it's as simple as that but if you're still confused Keldon's going to post an advanced tutorial to the discord so maybe it'll help some of you that are confused by this and maybe you can learn from that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit that like button if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when i upload let me know what you think about this video in the comments below thanks for watching guys peace out